Yo, what up, YouTube? So I actually just went live on twitch.tv forward slash tech and my chat brought it to my attention that there's this... You remember the whole Hogwarts legacy JK Rowling debacle that was happening a couple weeks ago? Uh, well, a lot of y'all might have been following on that, uh, but I thought that things would simmer down for whatever reason when the game came out because I've, I've heard the game has been pretty good. I heard the reviews are pretty good, uh, but it seems... <laughs> It seems like people are a little bit, a little bit more upset than I was uh, originally anticipating. Uh, going so far as to do some nefarious shit to a otherwise very wholesome channel, actually bullying a streamer so much to tears, and they had to stop playing this game. Uh, so there's this. In case you don't know, there's this whole like moral debate on what's like ethical, because obviously uh, a lot of people know that J.K. Rowling uh, isn't isn't well-liked, hasn't really said the best stuff, uh, and is otherwise, for lack of a better term, uh, perceived or is transphobic. I don't really know about the whole J.K. Rowling thing because here's the reality. I don't give a shit about her, to be honest. It's the same thing as where I do wear a pair of Yeezys because I bought them for $400 and I don't know shit about Kanye West. Just like how I eat at Chick-fil-A, I eat, I eat a fucking chicken sandwich, fries, and a fucking parfait, but I love gay people and I have no fucking idea who the fuck runs Chick-fil-A. I have no fucking idea. Call me willfully ignorant, I guess, but there's this whole debate on whether or whether not people are allowed to play this game on Twitch right now, which I'm going to just say it. I I'm going to be playing the game on uh, February 7th if you want to come watch me play Hogwarts Legacy because here's my thing, okay? Better yet, I'm going to save my mm -hmm. take until, we, until, until you, until you actually fully grasp the concept of what is actually going on right now, okay? So first of all, we'll look at the Hogwarts legacy category on Twitch. And earlier, the viewership was at around 800,000 viewers. And since then, it's dropped to 219,000. Now, a 600,000 viewer drop in one day, that's pretty fucking severe. Now, is that because that's day one and people are now just playing the game and not watching? Or is that because two, the reception to the game in certain streamers chats was so bad and I mean so bad, it forced one of them to tears. So earlier there was a channel called Girlfriend Reviews, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is an otherwise very wholesome channel. It's about a person and their girlfriend and they play video games and they review it. Okay, from like, I believe the player perspective as well as how it was for a girlfriend to watch your boyfriend play this game. I, that's my concept in their channel. I could be wrong. Anyways, they go to see this. We will be playing Hogwarts Legacy earlier today. Dude, thanks to a code we got. We're real big time reviewers. And the next one uh, comment is uh, eight hours or a little bit after they posted that. Hey guys, I see a lot of you all are not feeling this choice. If you go to our stream, you will see that we're raising money for the Trevor Project. I believe that's like a, a trans charity. Uh, while we play this game, we spent no money on. They did not. They did not buy it. It was actually gifted to them by the people who made it. We'll play it again for free so you can know how it is without having to, which in my opinion actually seems like a positive. So that way people who are thinking about playing it but still want to, I guess, stand for their cause might not have to play it if the game looks bad. In my opinion, it looks pretty, like, you know, that seems like a pretty good thing to do regardless of what side of the fence that you're on. Well, apparently people would not allow that at all. Later, obviously, yes, and my chat loves trans people. Yes, of course, of course, 100%. I have a lot of friends who are trans. Uh, not that that means that I'm pro-trans, but just, just saying. I have a lot of buddies who have transitioned. And I think it's very cool. Okay? So, streaming couple girlfriend reviews were forced to end their usual streaming content early after one member of the couple was reduced to tears as Twitch chat began writing rude comments at the playing for Hogwarts Legacy. Now, there's this phrase called one-guying. Uh, in the Twitch chat community, which refers to like one person being really pissed off in the chat, uh, a streamer not being too experienced with with how a chat is supposed to be. But these are out pretty much veterans of the platform. They're used to it. Uh, and this was way, way, way more than just one guy. This was a lot of people. Uh, actually, just from them playing the game, uh, they generally get around um, 800 viewers. Um, just from them playing this game, their viewership actually tripled i actually have the analytics that i'm loading up here right now their analytics actually tripled uh so going from this 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 to that which is a huge jump if you don't know how big that is uh they generally get about 700 600 maybe 400 viewers and they went up to 
thousand. There was a lot. There was a lot of new eyes on this fucking game. A lot of new eyes. Okay, I think a, a lot of people were highly anticipating this, but also there is actually people who made a website to track who is playing this game in case you want to harass or unfollow them. I found this site earlier. Okay, it's called Have They Streamed That Wizard Game? And you connect your Twitch. And then you can see if anybody you followed has played the game. So, for example, um, eight of the people, Erob, Ari, XQC, one of the biggest streamers on the entire platform, actually still is playing the game right now with 93,000 viewers. I actually quickly go check his chat. How's it looking? It's looking like a normal Twitch chat, right? It's looking like a normal Twitch chat. Uh, but they've made an entire website dedicated to forcing people to unfollow anybody who has even remotely interacted uh, with this game. So I looked into it a little bit more. And I looked into uh, uh, J.K. Rowling's transphobic comments, found some information on all this shit. Uh, apparently, they put out very controversial tweets regarding the trans uh, the the, uh, the the trans community. And then I Googled something that's very, very, very important to me, which is this. Did J.K. Rowling make Hogwarts Legacy? Okay, and I Googled that, which is between the lines, Rowling made profit from Hogwarts Legacy, but she didn't write it. It was developed by Warner Bros. owned Avalanche Software. The game's official FAQ notes that J.K. Rowling is not involved in the creation of the game, but critics have said its popularity would still benefit Rowling. So here's the here's the, here's the, here's what I took away from that. Obviously, Rowling, a lot of people don't like them. They've done some very stupid shit. Okay, I don't give a fuck about them either. Just being completely, I do not give a fuck about J.K. Rowling at fucking all. I don't even know what the fuck JK stands for. I don't give a shit. Okay. But a lot of good people actually did make the game and I'll be real. I'm going to play it. Just try it out. Okay. Here's my opinion. I think anybody who does not want to play the game, I think anybody who does not want to play the game fully has my respect and they don't have to do anything they don't want to do. Okay. But where I do draw the line is when people are actively trying to not let other people play the game. Because yes, as we can see that J.K. Rowling is not the greatest human being. She's quite shit. A lot of people worked really hard on this game. And a lot of people love Harry Potter. Okay? Uh, Harry Potter is a series that means a lot to a lot of people. So I just say, let the people who want to play the game play the game and if you don't want to play the game then don't play the game that's your stance you know vote with your wallet 100 don't fucking buy it don't fucking support it don't do any of that shit but i but i think it we're, we're getting to the territory where some people are crossing the line and making some people cry and be depressed and be attacked and uh feel like a shit human being for just trying to enjoy a video game anyways that's my opinion let me know what you think uh hope i didn't rub anybody the wrong way but it is what it is that's going to happen regardless it's the internet but right now, I just feel like this Hogwarts legacy thing is getting a little bit crazy right now. But brothers, even a trans character in the game? Is that true? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when I play it live on twitch.tv. If you want to check it out too, come stop by. Link in the pinned comment. See you on the next one, boys. Peace.